Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. expecting an important message. Gordon, don't touch that. Go use another computer. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier. But the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports Oh, have would you look at that? Yours. Freeman actually oh, did no. show up for work this morning. Yes. Looks like somebody that. here owes me They're lunch. Going to need you to come Good in morning, morning, Freeman. What? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> always attend the next convention. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Good morning, Gordon. I'm not one for idle chatter, Gordon. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career. Morning, in champ. Hello. Think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause uh, that was um, that was you know who's lunch. I'm not smug. I'm just better than you. They've been paging you all morning, Doctor Freeman. Best get downstairs before you cause any more disasters. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud, and the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. Count your lucky stars.
right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Doctor? Should harness the remaining photon to ensure residence control. Hi. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. A bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. I trust this morning finds you well. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh. I don't know about this, Izzy. We can't afford to waste time. Looks like I'll have to cancel lunch with Ozzy and Alex. Poppycock. We'll be laughing about this whilst sipping champagne. And Why, Beckerel's ghost! You know, we may be able to play us off the charts. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, uh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. There's no need for performance anxiety, Doctor. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen.
time for cold feet, Chief. Step right up. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. Any ideas on the origin of that new sample? I can't be bothered right now. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Greetings and salutations, Dr. Freeman. I've got this under control, Gordon. What's the extension for technical work? Gordon. Hopefully things will die down around here soon. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? Maybe later, Gordon. Good morning, Gordon. Ah, Gordon. Dr. Freeman. What's up, Doc? Good 
control yourself, Gordon. Access denied. I can't, but maybe later. How are you, Freeman? Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Maybe later, Gordon. Hey, catch me later. You, me, and Calhoun will go out and get that beer he owes you. Later, Gordon. Hello? Do I waltz into your office unannounced and proceed to run amok? I think not. Can this wait? Ow! Gordon! That really hurt. How's it going, Freeman? Hi, Freeman.
Yo, Gordon. Hello. Freeman, please. Can this wait? Go bother someone else, Gordon. Control yourself, Gordon. Reading words. Superconducting outer change is activated. Security hey, Freeman. officer, Sisk, reports medical emergency in I'm rather busy now. Center. What's up, Gordo? Extension for technical support. Go bother someone else, Gordon. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? Freeman. Hello. We can talk later, Gordon. the debugging procedure coming along. Yo, Gordon. Gordon Freeman. They need you in the test chamber. Control yourself, Gordon. Greetings, Dr. Freeman.
Sir? Hello, Freeman. Just a minute, Gordon. Dr. Freeman. Hello, Doc. Hey, Mr. Freeman. Yeah, I'm happy to see you too. Hey, Doc. I can't be bothered right now. Mr. Freeman? Are you 100% sure that theory of yours is correct? Uh-huh. Coded message for Sergeant Sarujas, Command and Communications Center. You don't want me to write you up, do you? Hello, Dr. Freeman.
Gordon, what happened there? Have you seen my coffee cup? Greetings. Hi. Hey, Freeman. This is anything less than a full-scale code red calamity. I'm not interested. Freeman. Hi, Freeman. Mr. Freeman? Most of the simulation results were perfectly acceptable, you know. Hey, Freeman. Oh, hello, sir. Pray tell, where could one find more toner for the fax machine? I couldn't even venture a guess. Okay, you got me. I surrender. Gordon. What's happening?
haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. Sir? Has anybody ever told you you're cutting the list? Hey, Gordon. How you been, pal? Yeah, cut that shit out, will ya? Sir? Hey, catch me later. We'll, we'll talk about that science stuff soon. Gordo, what's up, man? There are a lot of suits walking around today. Try to look busy. Thanks for the info.
Propulsion. Main propulsion disengaged. Power and fuel systems. Please report status. Doc. Hey, Gordon. How you been, pal?
hiding spot. I'm not moving until the situation is drastically improved. Go away! And don't tell anyone I'm here! What's up, Gordo? Has anybody ever told you you're a cunning linguist? But I'm positive that beast hasn't swam in terrestrial waters until a week ago. Shut up!
You'll just have to wait until after the test. I'm beginning to doubt that this is part of your decathlon training. Ah, Gordon! This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Gordon! Dr. Freeman? Man, you're an asshole when you're drunk. Gordon? I'm rather busy now. Mm-hmm. 
Maybe later, Gordon. How's it going, Freeman? What's up, Gordo? Hi, Gordon. Hey, Gordon.
Topside, hazard course, operations center. Gordon, I'm busy. Are you mad? Sir? I'm going to ask the administrator about that. Jeez, Doc, I didn't think you'd crack this soon. Has anyone actually even seen your degree, Freeman? Yeah, <laughs> real mature, Gordon. Hi. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. for technical support. Maybe, maybe not. Dr. Freeman? Go bother someone else, Gordon. Hey, Gordon. Yo, Gordon! Hi, Gordon. 
Gordon Freeman. Can this wait? Hi, Gordo. Greetings, Dr. Freeman. Can you access the mail server? It's hard to say. Ah, Gordon Freeman. Ah, Freeman. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Can you access the mail server? Right. Gordo, what's up, man?
that's just perfect. Gordon, what happened? Yeah, cut that shit out, will you? Hey, Mr. Freeman. Freeman? Most of the simulation results were perfectly acceptable, you know. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Hello, old chum. Hey, it's one of those Franken squids. Hello, Gordon. Dr. Freeman. Hey, Freeman. Hey, catch me later. You, me, and Calhoun will go out and get that beer he owes you. Has anyone actually even seen your degree, Freeman? Why do you insist on picking over everything in my lab? Control yourself, Gordon.
Gordon Freeman. Ah, Freeman. Can this wait? How's it going, Freeman? Gordon? Extension for technical support. Dr. Freeman. Do I waltz into your office unannounced and proceed to run amok? I think not. Can this wait?
sir. I'll meet up with you after my shift's over. Oh, hello, sir. Not now. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. Hey, Mr. Freeman.
Hey, Gordon. Hiya, Gordon. Gordon Freeman. Hey, Doc. Hey, catch me later. We'll we'll talk about that science stuff some more. Yes, sir. Dr. Freeman? How's it going, Freeman? What's up, Gordo? Yeah. 